So I'm on the way right now to Echo Park to meet up with Dan. Can't really skate because my ankle's still bad. So yeah, should be there shortly. <laughs> So just parked up right now. Bit of an overcast day in Los Angeles, which is refreshing. It's not super hot. I think it's like 70 something degrees, 71 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know how to convert that to Celsius, but yeah. Never been to this Echo Park skate park before. Looks pretty small. It's literally right off the highway. All I know about Echo Park is one night, me and my mate watched this movie and it was about like, um, Hispanic people and gangs in Echo Park and there's some girl named Sad Girl and it was a really poorly put together movie and there was an Echo Park lake with the water coming out the top and the lake's right here as you guys can see there's a lake right here oh, I can get out on a little paddle boat there that's pretty sick enough wax? Yeah. <laughs> humid today yeah. because of the humidity making it sticky
the no trace AK. So we left Echo Park, we had some Waba Grill, and uh, now we're at this spot, Los Angeles City College, having a bit of a gander. Really don't have any plans of what we're gonna go skate or check out, so we just figured we'd go in here and check out if there's anything to skate in here. But yeah, we've got a little three stair here, some ledges that have been aggressively capped. Um, some flat ground. Dan's over there. It, look like, it looks like someone's already been here skating. I'm only assuming, but who else would lay down a plastic barrier like that? I don't know, that's what I was just saying, because who else is going to lay it down? It looks like it's been skated. You reckon? Yeah, but it's like California. You Why you would don't you need to rig that up on crappy ground? <laughs> I, I know. Bet you just... we could go around the corner and there's like an actual good ledge. <laughs> this is a really Pacific Northwest slash East Coast style. What probably happened was it was someone's first time in California and they're like, oh man, a barrier. Put it on the side <laughs> so we can skate it just in case there's nothing to skate here. The first time. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they have those Dan benches here. <laughs> Looks like a little sick Euro. You'd have to be hauling ass to get up to it though. But uh, looks can be deceiving. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Probably people that have done it already. Check out this little Midwest manual pad here. <laughs> You get on here, gets on. You get on low here, and then you drop off the end there. It's a bit higher. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's like a get on and balance type one. It's a knee height. Wow. Yeah, this, I was here, uh, and uh, Andy Anderson did front five zero, front foot impossible out. Really? Yeah. It's pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. Uh, it has this crack in it now. Is it right. that? Yeah. Oh, did it, does it bounce up and down? Yeah, oh, yeah, it does. So, the scary thing for both side tricks. Yep. You like, get your rail on it if you use cheat sticks. What did I do? Um, what am I skating this right now? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> you know what would be cool? Pop in, pop out onto the other side here. Oh, like Ryan popovers. Yeah, like four side yank overs. Yeah. Um, We're just having a little bit of a tour today, guys, of some spots we come up on. I'm definitely not going to skate this because I'm broken off right now. We just came up on a couple of, uh, I think they're concrete. Yeah, concrete little bench slash ledge things. They look like they've been hit already. Ooh. Sounds cool. This is the one. I need a broom. A little bit of debris and leaves falling off these trees here. But it's not that bad. Oh, are you good? Yeah. That was a really good commando roll. You got pinched. There was just a lot of body movement when I'm still warming up. <laughs> I mean, if we were adults with wax, it'd be a way easier session. <laughs> you know what they say in Sydney? Just go faster. That's what they say everywhere but Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> Where I live now, we don't say that. pinch on the 5 -0. You look. <laughs> that was a lot of energy. What do you mean? Bursting. You Explosive so energy. You got so much. <laughs> so much more to give. <laughs> Man, if I try 
shots are like. Oh. Yeah, I gotta take my hardware down. What's going on? Oh, the hardware. Yeah, just the hardware. Free try. Oh! Oh my god, were you going for people? I tried. Your wheel got like stuck. Yeah, I definitely under ollied by a significant amount. <laughs> huh? Um. Eesh. I mean, I am tired. You got just warming up. Ooh. Let me land something. Haven't seen that one before. This Which guy? I mean, that is so sticky. I'll try like one more. Oh, there it is. Man, you're shutting this spot down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's like sometimes I just roll to a spot and just 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 sweeping casually, just sweeping. Getting <laughs> that sun out, son. Kind of worse. It's come up on another spot here in this college. It's a one seven. Seven. It's been bonded already. Landing looks pretty smooth. A lot of run up. There's also a sick ledge here it's like is that an octagon shape thing i think it's octagon is if, it, if it's six could be wrong but yeah these two ledges here have been hit quite a bit i wonder if anyone's gone like around the corner could like board slide round pop out that'd be dope but there's a whole bunch of um tree Gnarly debris spencer did uh nolly big heel down that set in a line here before they bonded the crack before so through that crack nolly wow pretty ridiculous this spot looks really cool though. Yeah, I feel like you guys get something here. Maybe. Like front board pop out on this and then back 180 to seven. Oh yeah, right. You can do that. <laughs> I've seen this spot before. I feel like I seen Dale skate this. Yeah. And then uh, like uh, the sheriff cruiser come down and I like, kicked him out. Yeah, it's just like a perfect rail. I think he, he got like a back 5-0 or something on this. I think he front 50 did. I don't know. Oh, he probably did back high boat actually. It's tall though, huh? Um, yeah, but it's steep. Oh, okay, yeah, it's not. So it's pretty forgiving. Yeah, I can walk it. Pretty cool. It's kind of like a perfect road. When I first started filming for YouTube, I was here at the Powell guys, and uh, I never used any of the footage. Like, I, but I was filming with the mindset of I was going to start doing YouTube. Yeah. This is before I got uh, Corona and all that shit. And I filmed Ricky Chavez do full cab back lip on this rail like five times, like back tailed it. He was doing a kid is good. Nolly and would heel front board. Like I had all this footage set, and like I was like talking with the guys and fucking around. And I was legitimately gonna make a YouTube video. And Why I didn't you do it? Again. Uh, I ended up just sitting on the footage too long, and then okay. that phone got broken, and then I got over it. Oh but man, good, good ass rail. Yeah. I mean, you can tell it was, it's been bonded on this side once before and this side still looks pretty relevant, relevantly new bonded. That doesn't even make sense. This side's been like done and it's still, still okay. That side's wrong. Yeah, pretty cool rail. Broke. That's what's cool about it. Yeah. 
about it. So people skate this rail as well, but uh, if you have a look at it, it kind of kinks towards the bottom there. Yeah, that's that way. Big Spin front board shove, I want to say, or big, at least Big Spin front board. Wow. But this one's like slightly taller than the other one. Yeah, it's taller, I think. It's just one of those situations where it's like, there's a perfect rail right there, so why skate this one? And the yeah. reason is, everything's NBD on this, so you might as well. <laughs> Oh, it's intimidating. Look, imagine rolling up to this, guys, throwing down, and then you're on your board, and then this is where the wall usually hits. Usually about here, if you haven't done it before. There's like an imaginary wall right here. You have to break through in your mind to be able to get up and on. When you pop, where are you aiming at landing on? About there. there. About that high. So bit. remember what you were explaining to me um, about, was it bump to rails? Oh, it's similar house. to this. A bump to rail, for like when you ride a skate park and it's like a kicker to flat bar. It's yeah. the exact same dimensions as this. All you're doing is going like this. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just switching the slant of the. Lip. So that's why a lot of people who skate bump to rails have an easier time doing handrails because gravity is quite similar to you. It's very forgiving because you're going down, whereas a bump to rail gravity is forgiving because you're going up onto it. So it's like a very delicate like. I'm coming onto the rail and on. then my body weight's on it. Yeah. Same thing with this one. You're coming onto the rail and then your body weight's on it. Damn. Um, it's just, yeah. Physics. Physics Science. There's a couple tricks I kind of want to try on this rail. Really? Kind of. Not right oh, now, but. Yeah. Like you, like you.